folks, welcome back to Rule of Thumb, and today I'm bringing you the last video in a series of jams and jellies and butters. So today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. Um, I am going to use a triple berry blend, but I'm going to use balsamic vinegar instead of the lemon juice, just to give it a little twist. So, I'm going to get everything together, show you what we're working with, show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so this is what we got. I have what is probably roughly about eight cups of berries in here. This is blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And then I had that leftover lemon um, that I used the zest in a different recipe. So I just took some of the Supremes out and put them in there and I'm just going to blend them right up in there. I have got nine tablespoons of pectin. I have got just over a third of a cup of balsamic vinegar, a good balsamic vinegar, and then I've got six cups of sugar. So we're going to go ahead and kick this on and get these berries heating. We will add our vinegar to this as well, and our pectin. And I'm going to get this brought up to a full rolling boil. I'm going to hit it with my stick blender and get it all blended thoroughly. And I'll bring you folks back when we're ready to add the sugar. Okay folks, we're back. We are at a full rolling boil. So I'm going to go ahead and get the sugar in here. And I'm going to get this stirred in. We're going to bring this back to a full rolling boil. Let it boil for a minute. And then we'll be ready to get this into the jars, and I'll bring you folks back when we get to them. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're ready to get this in the jars. So I got some nice clean jars here, hot out of the water. Ugh. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish you could smell this. It is just gorgeous. Um... So the balsamic, because I get questions about the balsamic, it doesn't, in my opinion at least, it doesn't make your jam or jelly vinegary as much as it gives it a um, kind of a deeper, richer flavor. So, you know, if you're concerned about it, being vinegary, um, I don't think that's a concern. Um, now, you know, everybody's taste buds are different. So again, that's for me, that's my belief. Um, so I say, give it a shot. You can do a smaller batch than what I'm doing. If you wanna just try and do, you know, a couple jars, you could cut this down. Um, there's you know, tons of recipes out there for uh, jams and jellies using balsamic vinegar. So, you know, you do you. That's what I always say. And it's the same with jams and jellies. Um, so, that is the best way I can answer um, that question is... In my opinion, it doesn't make it tart. Um, it just makes it richer in flavor. So, I am going to get these in the canner. i got to get my little glove here because this one is hot. I'm going to get these in the canner. I'll bring it up to a rolling boil. I'm going to process these for 10 minutes. I will turn the canner off, take the lid off. Let them sit for five minutes, pull them out, and I'll bring you folks back so you can see the final verdict. Okay, folks, here we are, finished product. We've got three, six, nine, ten half pints and one 12 ounce jar. Out of that batch, I used the low sugar recipe on the regular uh, classic ball pectin. The flavor on it is phenomenal. Um, it's like I said, it's just a real rich berry flavor. Um, the color is beautiful. I'm just super happy with this product. So 
I hope you guys give this a try. Like I said, there's tons of recipes out there. Um, I, like I said, I use the recipe on the inside of the label of the Ball Classic Pectin for low sugar. And all I did was replace the lemon juice with balsamic vinegar. So you could certainly try a smaller batch um, and see what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, come back and see us soon. And as always, I hope you have a great day.